This video is all about fasteners. Fasteners are mechanical devices used to join two objects together. Simple example, if you want to fasten one piece of wood to another, you could do that with wood screws by simply driving a screw down either through the wood threads or through a pilot hole into whatever you're trying to fasten. That's a basic example. These are by no means an exclusive list. These are not all types of fasteners. Of course, there would probably be hundreds, maybe even thousands of different types of fasteners. These are just the ones that I have on hand that I use either for DIY projects around the house or on handyman jobs. Some of them I've used once and then never have used again. For instance, when I built my shed, I used these gigantic uh, galvanized lag bolts, which I probably won't need anymore. Some of these you may find in your house. You have certain things like drywall screws, regular wood screws and anchors. Even anchors are a type of fastener. If you want to learn about anchors, which is a way to fasten, for example, a, a bracket, a shelf bracket to drywall or even a shelf bracket to a wood stud, the anchors will allow for that, for those two objects to be joined. If you want to learn about anchors and drywall, masonry, plaster and lath, brick, concrete, or wood, then click on my video about anchors because these, most of this video is not about anchors so much as it is about other common fasteners. This is another type of anchor, hollow wall anchor, fastens whatever you're gonna put on the wall, and then this holds it really tight, similar to the toggle bolt. Those are not the, uh, the main theme of this video. There are many different ways that I could have sorted these I could have sorted it by the drive, whatever you're using to drive the screw. I could have sorted it by flat head, which as you, as you can imagine is flat or pan, where it sticks over, whether it's a wood screw or a machine screw. What I did here basically is you just have nails, interior and exterior screws, including wood screws, cabinet screws, uh, exterior screws, or exterior screws as well, bolts, nuts and bolts are fasteners, including this one here, two nuts here, and a hex head, and then different parts of a bolt, you have the male thread and then the female thread and the nut. masonry, anchors, essentially screws, these ones, these particular anchors, except for this one, which is a wedge anchor. As you tighten the hex part of the bolt, this wedge is formed and it expands and then holds, and then that's a permanent fixture. Most fasteners are for temporary or removable joints. This particular example from earlier also has glue, which is meant to be a permanent joint, but I could have used these screws to just make a temporary fixture where I can remove the pieces of wood. That's just an example. These particular masonry anchors are great because they thread into the masonry, the concrete or brick or whatever it is, and then holds whatever it's fastening to the wall or floor or even ceiling. And then if you wanted to remove it, just like any other screw, you just turn it counterclockwise and then it comes out temporary. Speaking of the masonry, you have wood screws, just like other wood flathead wood screws. You can cut either a countersink 
or just drive it into the wood. And then this, this particular anchor you drill into the concrete and then you can fasten wood to the concrete. Whereas you have these hex head with the washers, same idea except you could fasten something that isn't wood to the concrete, for instance a shelf bracket or a, a TV mount bracket. And then with the, with the washer we'll hold that metal tight. And there's different sizes, different types. I've used these. I've used these tap blue tap cons. They're coated. I've used those to hang TVs. This is a type of bolt called a carriage bolt. Where it has a round part. The only way to take it off would be to loosen the nut on the other side. And they have a square part of the shank that fits into a square, typically of metal, opening, which will hold it in place to allow you to fasten it with just tightening the nut. Whereas with something like this, you would have to have two wrenches. These look similar, but these are wood screws. Same idea, that is a hex, a hex head. You could use a socket or a wrench. You could put the socket adapter on your impact wrench. And then this will actually go into wood. Uh, these are for mounting TVs. This particular one does not have the washer. You would need to add a washer to this. And depending on the, the mount, if it has a particularly wide hole, you would need a larger washer. And we have here drywall screws. They have a bugle shape so as not to rip the drywall paper. Whereas if you put a regular flat head like this, it tends to rip the paper. And this is also that type of shape that is specifically designed to not rip the paper. regular interior wood screw and this is an exterior wood screw as you can see also there are different types of drives that's a whole different video in itself but this would be a Torx this is a Phillips this here it does have a slot for a slot screwdriver a flat screwdriver but you can also use the hex, this quarter inch hex head. This particular one is coated for exterior use. And this one is also meant to fasten metal to metal, particularly a gutter. So, uh, as far as other exterior, this is a long flat Torx drive wood screw exterior and this is meant to fasten wood to wood same as these exterior nails which are galvanized I've used these for joist hangers on a deck they're longer galvanized nails this is a roofing nail it has a very wide flat head so, so the uh, the shingle doesn't rip up. It has a wide surface area holding, helping to hold that shingle down. Whereas if you had something tinier, the shingle might blow right up. These are just sinker nails. This is a spiral. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a spiral shaped deck nail. The way a nail works is it's driven with a hammer and it the tension of the wood fibers around it hold it in place. Deck nails, or any nail really, have a tendency to, after so many years, pop up. This is another, another one designed to uh, help prevent that. But with the spiral, as it's driven, it turns. And it's a little bit less likely to pop straight out because of the spiral shape. 
this is a finished nail these tiny finished nails and brad nails which I don't have here but I I use brad nails with the nailer they're meant to have a very tiny head which can then be uh, tapped in and then covered easily for instance in a baseboard this is a temporary nail used to nail things down and very easy for a claw hammer to pull right back up when you want to pull it back up this one similar in shape to that but this is totally different this is meant to be a picture hanger I like it because it helps to it has this kind of washer that holds flush to the drywall whereas something could be hung over that rather than just putting an, a screw into the stud behind the drywall and then putting a picture over that now you have this it's a uh, and it's self, this is a uh, self drilling. And you have various different screws over here. This one is for door hinges. Again, they're self drilling. These, as I said earlier, are pan machine screws, typically meant to fasten non wood to some other material. Some can be wood screws like this one here can be a wood screw that can attach or fasten something non wood to wood Here we have cabinet screws they have a washer a wide washer to help hold more surface area these are similar I love these square heads square drives you don't see that too much but these these particular screws came in a uh, pocket hole jig set but can be also used uh, pretty much for anything uh, including cabinet mounting these are self this is a self drilling wafer head similar in shape to this one which was sold as a lath screw wide heads to attach the mesh lath this one has a wider screw screw threads this one is finer this one is a wood screw I like to use these for picture hanging because or mirror hanging or whatever you're hanging with a wire because there's virtually no chance for it to slip up is it if you were using a wood screw for like this there's a very good chance that that wire could fall off these are great for picture hanging. And we have various wood screws. The parts of the screw are the head, and then the drive that we already spoke of, and the shank, and then the threads. The shank allows whatever you're fastening to to have a large, wide pilot hole which does not have threads biting into whatever you're fastening. The threads of the screw are all, the threads are all gonna be in this material because then the fastening actually happens at the head. When you have the head, when those screws pull in, that head is going to be flush with this surface and it's going to pull as much as it can the material to whatever you're fastening to and then here we have some some oddities I got these drawers of fasteners from these, I don't know, these old timers. They must have had these things for decades. Never seen a screw like that. You see a lot of slotted screws in these old, it's actually called an oval head. A little bit, it's like a flat head screw, but with a little bit of a mound so that there's more material for the driver to grab. Thankfully, you don't see many slotted screws more Phillips Torx possibly best the square or Robertson drive 
which will reduce cam out when you're trying to fasten something and then the driver pops out of it. And then finally, a good, reliable construction screw. That's wood, not particularly coated in anything for exterior use. For that, I would go with these deck screws, something coated or stainless like this one. But for general purpose, everyday use, I use a lot of these. I've been using a lot of these lately. Occasional quarter, quarter hex drive. As a homeowner, you may, it depends on your project, what you need to fasten. You may run into drywall screws, which by the way are meant to only fasten drywall to studs. That's it. It's not meant to fasten something else into the drywall because it has a terrible shear strength. The head could pop right off. For that, you would need to have a some kind of drywall anchor or look for the stud and drill drive directly into a stud. And then depending on what else you're fastening, cabinet screws are good. They have a good holding strength. Each one of these screws, as long as it has enough material, this is we're talking about shear strength and fastening things to walls. If this was the wood stud, as long as it has enough material, can hold about 80 pounds, probably much more. But general rule of thumb, I wouldn't hang anything more than that off of one single screw. These concrete anchors are different. They can hold hundreds of pounds. Shear strength. Pull out strength, kind of similar to a wood screw, but as long as you drill into enough material, and you test it, make sure it's not coming out, it's gonna hold.